Today is World Suicide Prevention Day, and Flagstaff residents came together in a unique way to raise awareness on what the Center for Disease Control reports is the 10th leading cause of the death in the U.S. Colleen Sikora joins us live at the Birch Avenue Tattoo Shop. That's right, Sierra. And down here, they're inking $20 semicolon tattoos. Now, semicolons are usually used as a punctuation mark, but here they're being used to raise awareness. Ready? Yep. I hope that people ask me about the tattoo because that's the point. Sarah Steen came out to get her tattoo in hopes of bringing attention to the disease. It shouldn't be taboo. It's an illness, just like any other medical problem. Steen lost her nephew to suicide and wants to show love and compassion to others struggling. And we miss him every day. Rising over 12% in the last decade, suicide is becoming a larger issue. And it's, it's, a, it's a major issue that touches most people at some point in their life. Bennett Edgerly knows the disease well, not only as a psychologist and counselor, but as a friend. I actually have lost six different friends to suicide. The semicolon traditionally used by authors as a sentence that they could have ended, but decided not to. It's been embraced by the suicide prevention community as a symbol of hope and solidarity. If you're out in the community and maybe you're feeling not so great and you see somebody who has that semicolon tattoo, that maybe that's a, a safe person that you could know that, you know, they understand, like they would be willing to have that conversation with you. Priscilla Brown is the co-founder of the Flagstaff Semicolon Project, hoping to create a dialogue, raising awareness on suicide in northern Arizona. Help people in the community. Um, become more comfortable with maybe talking about suicide, maybe being willing to, you know, check in with people. All the proceeds from the $20 tattoos will be going towards the National Alliance for Mental Illness here in Flagstaff. But if you don't want to get a tattoo, that's okay. There are other ways to donate for to raise awareness for suicide prevention. Reporting live in downtown Flagstaff, Colleen Sikora, NIZ Today.